another conversation with the games with it's your boy soldier and we're gonna talk about why your god is the king of memphis when we dive right into it like now me i ain't finna run all your god of history from when he's a little boy and he first got his deal and all that we're gonna skip through all that because that's all all the information already out there you know what i'm saying like the reason why you can say your God is the king of Memphis and not no other artist is because one thing you got to give God the credit is he do try to help, maybe not in the beginning, but now, and as far as the past five to seven years, he been trying to help any artist that he feel like got a big enough buzz and that, that uh, and got his mind right, he definitely gonna reach out and try to help and give you a deal, help you get some M's, put you in in, 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 in in a certain position now it's up to you to take it to the next level and keep it keep it going because this first set of artists is, you know what I'm saying they had a good and they had a good beginning but in the middle and the end they started going back downhill you see what I'm saying that's Snooty Wild that's Snooty Wild I made some M's that's uh uh what's that nigga name um what's that nigga name um Landlord the landlord in it be him. Um, I think Star Lido. Uh, 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 I I call him All Star. I remember his name being All Star. I don't know for sure if he was under CMG, but I know he probably got some advice or something. Uh, him and all them niggas like everybody on that chapter one mixtape. Where they at now? Besides Gotti. Like, so he can give you, you know what I'm saying, game and bring it to the water. It's up to you to keep drinking it. So you got to give God his credit for that. Um, you got to give God his credit for, he don't mind, he don't mind seeing other niggas win. He don't mind seeing you playing with five M's. Now, I don't know if he want to see you make more money than him. Because he ain't been challenged with, with that yet. He haven't been challenged with a uh, 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 artist that got more money than him or just as much. You see what I'm saying? Because he, if you sign with him, he's not, he not going to let you get over him. He's not going to let you. Name an artist. Name name a rapper that ever got signed with a crew. And he got signed with a nigga. And then the, the, the artist that was under him started making more money than, than, and, than him. And had a long career. And he and he still remained the CEO. It ain't none. If, if it is, maybe one or two. It ain't none. That ain't common. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if he would have signed Dolph, right? It, Dolph would have left. Because Dolph would have seen he can make some of the money. He would have bought himself out the contract. And then, and, and, you know what I'm saying? But he, just Dolph is just too smart. Understand that, like. When you, before, you sign, before you sign a deal with a rapper, what you, gotta, what you gotta think in your head and say to yourself, you gotta think, like, you gotta assume, like, how much money this nigga got. So if, say, your boss, Birdman, and he wrote 500 M's or 300 M's, you got to be comfortable with having under that. Like, you got to be comfortable with, with with not making that much. Like, you got to be comfortable with only probably getting up to 100, 100 M's or 50 M's, 20 M's, which is still, you know what I'm saying, great, excellent. Like, you definitely beat the odds. You definitely did what motherfuckers only can dream to do. You see what I'm saying? Like, Drake can make 100 million, but can he get over the four lips over Birdman? Would he ever get over that? Like, would he ever make more money than Lil Slim? I mean, uh, with Slim and, and, and Baby, why he under cash money, will he? Nicky can get that, but would he make more than them? You see what I'm saying? And this the this the picture that Kevin Gates seen before it was too late. Money Man seen before it was too late. AR Ab seen before we got they got too deep in it. You see what I'm saying? Guy that seen it when he signed the guy uh, cash money. Got himself about the deal. I think Gotti paid like six hundred thousand to eight hundred thousand, somewhere around that number, to get about that deal. And he did not get that to sign that deal. You see what I'm saying? But uh, back to why um, you can say Yo Gotti is the king of Memphis. Yo Gotti um, always stay consistent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo Gotti always stay consistent with 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 um, putting out. You know what I'm saying? Hits, uh, bringing out a decent mixtape or album. You see what I'm saying? He stay relevant when he need to be relevant. You see what I'm saying? Like, is he the best businessman outside of music? No, no. 
because he have he he never had a rock a rock a rock a wear a mug wear his clothes or a liquor or now he might be I right, he might got a trucking business stuff like that and he might got real estate but he he have proved to us where he can have a successful liquor company a successful clothing line a shoe company you know shit like that he can sell water like what uh, Jay Z Diddy Fifty Master P Drake you know what I'm saying what they can do but you know nobody in Memphis has did what Yo Gotti did as far as like having strong artists under them like got it like 3-6 definitely is uh, uh, a legendary group and they I can say you know what I'm saying I can say that they did uh, way more for uh, Memphis as far as putting on, on putting Memphis on the spotlight and giving giving motherfuckers that, that sound they need more than got it like with the shit Memphis uh 36 dead, I don't think got it could top. Like niggas ain't really gonna be still using Yo Gotti old beats in 20, 30 years from now. Like I 36 really ahead of their time. If 36 would have came, if they would have never came up with none of them songs and came out in 2020 and dropped all them songs they came out with before, they they are go they'll go number one right now. That fit the day's time so good, but this ain't about 36. I do another video on why 36 could be the king of Memphis. But this is by got it. Um, another thing too, uh, God did not, God did really handle shit from the outside looking in. He he really handled shit like a Gotti, like a like a like a Don, like a boss. Like he don't really he don't really say too much on records no more. Like how he used to do. He don't you know what I'm saying. He don't move. He don't post everything he do. He don't move like how a lot of other rappers move. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can tell he got some real structure and he real sturdy about his business. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they can make you a king. They can make you a big CEO. He moved like one, for real. Um, you know, um, another thing they gonna keep, that's gonna keep making Gotti and a boss or a CEO or the king, you know, because he feel like he's the king. And not only will he sign Memphis artists, he'll sign, you know, he'll keep, he'll sign artists from other states, like where he at now in Detroit. That's more boss, that's more CEO moves. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, um, next thing good could be for God is come out with a movie about his life. But he might not want to do that because statute of limitations on stuff. Maybe, maybe shit got too serious. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, with a movie or, or, or some like a real documentary, a documentary, a documentary would definitely, um, it definitely would take off. Um, is your guy the best artist in Memphis? Hmm. Yo Gotti is the best art as far as giving niggas out of Memphis as far as giving niggas the game and how he delivered it. Yo Gotti is the best artist in Memphis that can make a, a, a club record for the for the female. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't think nobody in Memphis can make a better club record than Gotti that, 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 that hit them charts bigger than like Five Star Chick, Down in the DM, you know, so on, so on, so on. You know what I'm saying? Like, but when Gotti try to not make, when he try to make other songs, for like the streak and make him put his, his single, it ain't gonna work. It, he gotta cater to them hoes. If he want that real radio play. Now Dolph, Dolph is a little bit different. Dolph, Dolph not the best, Dolph not the most lyrical one. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, I feel like Money Bad Yo, Bar for Bar is probably the best rapper. They, they got the attention and got, you know what I'm saying? When mainstream is the best Bar for Bar rapper. Understand it, like Moneybag Yo is a, is a talented guy, um, but Dolph is just Dolph is just to make him so raw. It just is his his how he deliver like his independence, um, you know. And he the new he the new wave, like he knew got him more on old going towards the old wave, and you know Dolph more new. But you know that's I do another video on Dolph too. Uh, why he why he could be the king of Memphis? Why he is the king of Memphis? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but got it is far as like structure and how everything is like the artists he got and, and the level they own and 
Everybody pretty. He got a strong team. Definitely got the strongest team out of Memphis. He probably would fit the best candidate for the King of Memphis. Now, if you're talking about solo, it would be like you're just solo and don't no business, no nothing. Dolph would be more like the King of Memphis. Like they don't, they don't gotta help nobody. Just solo, independent, like song for song. You know what I'm saying? Dolph, I, I'll probably get it to Dolph. You see what I'm saying? I couldn't give it to Bag or, or Black Youngster because they signed to a nigga. I can't give, you know what I'm saying? They signed a CMG, so I can't say, how can I say you the king? You can't be the king of Memphis uh, if you sign to another nigga who claiming he the king. You see what I'm saying? So, um, that what you, that what, that what, that what you got, that what you, that what you got to understand, but God is definitely a, a, a legend. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and it's, before he died, he definitely did a lot for Memphis. He definitely gave a lot of niggas a chance. Try to reach out to damn near everybody. Uh, he even signed niggas that he wasn't supposed to be cool with. Like, South Memphis and North Memphis always was into it. You know what I'm saying? Not since the beginning of the time, but you know, somewhere back in the day it went wrong. You know what I'm saying? They've been thumping at each other ever since. You see what I'm saying? Like, so, um, that's what that is. Got it definitely uh, ain't going nowhere no time soon. Got it definitely would. Probably he gonna see more success. He gonna sign more artists. And he gonna be around for a while because he can attach himself to the streets and to new artists and just do a couple songs with them, do a mixtape with, with them, pop them up, then fall back. This nigga should learn from Got it. You know what I'm saying? Dolph need to learn more of that. But he really don't got to because Dolph is just in a different kind of situation. But. I, I want to see pay, paper route be, you know what I'm saying? Strong. They need they need like two more artists that's a little just as strong as Key Glock or a little stronger than Key Glock. And but them niggas, woo, them niggas would be the fucking, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas would be the goddamn. But Jay Phil and all them motherfuckers with two more artists that's on, somewhere near Dolph level. But them niggas would be a problem, boy. They a problem now though. Understand that. Um. So. That's what it is, man. It ain't, it ain't really too much to really uh, uh, speak on. You know, I'm just, on this video, we ain't gonna really get into the street shit and the beefs and when he fell out with OG Boo Dirty, when he used to just play a fly, eight ball, and do shit. That's a different, that's a, that, that's a different video, right? Uh, you see what I'm saying? This is why I just give the nigga his flowers, you know what I'm saying? To say why he can be king or why he is king. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people feel like that. He definitely feel like that. He definitely put North Memphis um, at, a, at a different, you know what I'm saying, space right now. Like, 3 6 definitely put it on the map and they repped it better, way better. They, they made it sound way better. I ain't gonna lie, like. But, God is, 3 6 is on a, like, falling back type. They just do beat for motherfuckers, Re reproduce old records. But God is keeping North Memphis the strongest, like it always been since 3 6 been rapping. And like North Memphis always been the strongest side out of Memphis as far as. On the music in the music industry, and God, it definitely, definitely is is is, is, is leading it. Dolph, nah, they need they need a little bit more. Even though they got Savage, got they got Frazier Boy, they got uh, 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 Black Youngster and Money Bad Dolph, they done, but, but with God, it, no, nah, God, it can, God is still making holding, the, got the North on his back by himself, and he, and it's still at the top, just cause. Most of the South niggas, South Memphis niggas signed to got it, and they really should have signed with Dolph. But not to say if they would have signed to Dolph, they would be in a better situation. You see what I'm saying? Not saying that. Not saying if they would have signed to Dolph, they would get more money or less money. You see what I'm saying? But you know, it was still a win win for everybody. Uh, niggas, you know what I'm saying? Got it. He found the right crew. He got the, he got the real started crew. First crew, he got them through, you know what I'm saying? It, it did what it did. It still worked and they still came out with hits. I don't remember Zed Zilla coming out with no hit. But the biggest song I ever they reached all over America, far through the clubs on the urban level, part of that fire that bitch. You know what I'm saying? But um, shout out to Zed Zilla though. Um, that, 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 that's pretty much that, that's pretty much it, man. Like they ain't finna, they ain't finna. Like you gonna need a, a real strong army to. Uh, to stop that CMG shit. I'm gonna tell you what you need. You need Dolph money. Well, you need more than Dolph money because your guy the artist is, is not the millionaire. So you need like Dolph, you need, well, okay. You need about Dolph money or a little bit more, a couple more M's 
and you need like an OG who dirty click and you need like some shooters like that no, like the shooters he got that's what you need you need shooters like that and you need some Dolph money and then you might then god damn it you'll take CMG to war on the music street on the music side and in the streets understand that but until niggas like it's saying like niggas got one or the other they either got the money and not the, the crew or they got the crew and not the, the bread and when you don't got both you'll lose to a nigga like got it because he can he could pay a nigga from Atlanta to come. Yeah, he could pay a nigga from Chicago. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, that what nigga gotta goddamn realize when you, you know what I'm saying? When you wanna step on them toes, like, like in the streets, in the streets, um, on, on, on the outside looking in, CMG definitely winning because ain't nobody, ain't nobody that's an artist from CMG got shot. Dolph, I mean, uh, Young State ain't been shot. Overall, Bag ain't been shot at Rob. God ain't been shot at Rob. His brother ain't been shot at Rob. Or shot at or nothing. It's just the paper route niggas been getting robbed and shot at and stuff. So, you know, CMG, man, you know, they gonna stand tall the long way, the strong way. Man, nigga can't, nigga can't stop that, man. Nigga gotta just, you stay on that side, and you know, I stay on this side, and you bump heads, you know what it is. Go on, man. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, man. Tell me what y'all feel. It's got it to pick the Memphis. You hear the best contender for that? Or is it three? Is it three seasons of Dolph? It can't be really nobody else because, you know what I'm saying? Like, other niggas work for other niggas. So, you know, drop the comment, man. Tell me what y'all feel, man. Go.